I think I could make an imprint this way. Wow! That really worked! I'm Sherlock Holmes. You're Watson, I'm Holmes. I'm Holmes, you're Watson. No way! I'm totally Holmes! What's going on out there? <laughs> I'm Holmes, and you are Inspector Clouseau. Deal! The Pink Panther. Oh, gracious. Uh, what the hell am I thinking? I'm sorry, I'm a little bit distracted there. I'm proud of us, Harvey. We actually have an imprint of the Master Key. But what are we going to do now? Hmm, try to find an imprint of the exit? Maybe we should look for a furnace instead. And molten metal, you know, things like that. You're weird. I kind of like the imprint. There was a episode of Married with Children where Al, uh, let's see, we need to go to Al, uh, handcuffed himself to the goalpost of his old football field. If you don't know, he was, that was the high point of his entire life was his football career. So we're going to the basement. But anyway, uh, Kelly had wound up with a key and she put it on the train tracks because a bunch of people were putting pennies on the train tracks and it was wasteful to flatten them when the train came by. And she knew it was wasteful to put pennies on the train tracks because they were money. So she put the key on it. And Al had to pee. And of course he couldn't pee. And the key was very flat. And what Kelly suggested was they take... <laughs> Actually, it was a big old padlock. They take the lock to the train and flatten it and then use the flat key on it. I love Kelly. The coinky dink girl. Alright. Okay. Making progress. Okay. Okay. Uh, there actually was some animation with that, so we need to get that out. I got a feeling it's hot. I think it's finished. Why don't you grab it, Harvey? Can you get the mold out of there for me, Harvey? <laughs> Are you mad? I'm 30% polyester! Uh, well, there you go. This should work. I don't know, it's just not silly enough. Okay, now what we need is... Uh, Harvey is in the best possible shape. What we need is Adrian's gold This is a perfect negative metal. of the master key. That means we'll be able to get in, all right. Just getting out won't be easy. Hooray for your deductive logic. And three cheers for handheld blenders. Handheld blenders. Actually, handheld blenders are good. They're used a lot in food. It used to be a bartending thing. I think the French might have started. I, I know some really bizarre crap. I'm sorry. Uh, you could puree a soup that's already made with a handheld blender. Uh, crud. Ooh, this is problematic. Now we have to deal with Droggle Jug. Uh, hmm. Now, I'm kind of curious about what the hell happened to Mr. Frock. You know what? Playing in the inventory and doing the stuff with uh, Harvey that we've done. The Droggle Jug thing was he would only submit to a higher authority. I'll turn a blind eye to him. She means to Harvey. But she has her police persona. The only other thing I can think of, well, that's just, I think that's an admission form. That glitched on me, and I got kind of turned around when I was playing with it. Um, I wonder, though, because the Droggle Jug clue is he will only submit to a, a higher authority. And 
and uh, this looks dangerous. Ah, what the hey? Of course, I don't know if Drago Judd considers the police a higher authority or not. All right, this should take us right to where we want to go, so I don't get lost again. The next exit is approaching. Now, part of that edit may be where I mentioned that some people don't like these because it's kind of like some RPGs where you go here and get this, and you go there and you get that. But for me, I find the story just incredible. I love it, and, and uh, it's just funny as hell. Are we going through the door or not? Okay, Drago Jug, Adrian's guard. Hello. Druggle Jug. Is that your name? Druggle Jug. Am I not allowed in there? Druggle Jug. But I need to be granted an audience with the king. Druggle Jug. Too bad. <sighs> what a guy. If only I could impress him somehow. Now, Drago Jug and King Adrian, uh, B Man, and uh, I don't remember if Al Man was in it or not are in number two so we I already know all about them by doing these backwards I guess that's the only way to say that um, I don't I think this was before somebody suggested to me I use Harvey on everybody isn't Drogojug a fine specimen of what hmm. I'll admit that I'm a bit jealous yeah he's crazier than you he gets blue Johnny that seems to make people disappear I've got a present for you a tube of mustard. Druggle jug. Oh, I can see that. A body like that doesn't just happen on its own. <laughs> uh, if we select, I don't. Yeah, she eats them if we select them. Sorry mm. about that. And this exquisite hissing that accompanies the dissolving of dental enamel. Yeah, it's made out of obscene stuff. I think uh, styrofoam and I don't even know sugar. Uh, maybe needs a helmet. I've got a present for you. Uh, it's a pot. Druggle jug. You're not entitled to it. What do you mean? Druggle jug. Ah, I see. Strange. I ain't no stranger than you. I've got a present for you. Potholders. Struggle jug. Too bad. I've been keeping them for you for so long. I should have known this wouldn't impress him. Okay, I think we've worn this horse out. I've worn my part of the horse out. Hold it. Paraonithological branch of the FBI, Special Squad. Sergeant Edna. Struggle jug. Of course I can show you identification. Druggle Jug. You bet. Can I have access to the king now? Druggle Jug. Cool. I mean, thank you. I almost wonder if that's a uh, play on Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs. I don't know what the timing is on this. Oh my gosh, King Adrian. <laughs> well, well, well. My scouts reported that you'd be coming. A new power, they said, is on the rise in the eastern realm of the recreation room to overthrow me and my kingdom. What are you talking about? So, you managed to overcome my god. Poor, devoted Drogeljog. I will avenge him with your blood. What? But woe is me. My hand is weak, for the weight of a sword is far <laughs> too much for me to bear. Have I been temple morphed into the wrong game? Before you usurp what my dynasty has achieved <laughs> through the years, my oh, castle, my throne, and my gold medal from the Jigsaw Puzzle Contest, you will have to defeat me in a mental duel. Are you prepared for the challenge? 
Sorry about being loud early on, but he just cracked me the hell up when I saw him. That's just, uh, uh, a golden medal? Genuine gold? Of course. And that's not all. Why? What else? Um, well, all right. Just genuine gold. Nothing else. What were you expecting? Oh, so I guess I'm down to just, uh, I am ready, huh? Now, I can't interact with Harvey because I don't have Harvey, so. And I got no clue how this is I am out. ready. We may be doing so it twice. So be it. Let the joust begin. There's no turning back now. It's all or nothing. Victory or defeat. Glory or shame. Fish or cut bait. You know how to create suspense. <laughs> I will ask you a question. And you shall give me the answer or perish. All right, all right. Just ask the question. Well, then. The question is, heads or tails? That's all? Heads or tails? That's the duel for the royal throne? Heads or tails? Hey, it's a looty bin. Uh, let's go with tails just because it's second. Tails! Heads. Well, maybe you'll have better luck next time. Have you had enough? I want to try once more. So be it. Heads or tails. Heads. Tails. Well... Maybe you'll have better luck next time. Have you had enough? Why must I always lose? Do not blame yourself. There was a time when I too had to endure the same misfortunes as you. I tell nary a lie. I was a regular misadventurer. But then, I went out for a walk one night. On the roof of the tower, there was a thunderstorm brewing. I opened my umbrella as a precaution, and my feet were immersed in buckets of water when I noticed that the TV antenna was crooked immediately. I took it upon myself to rectify the problem. What I remember next is seeing a dazzling flash of light. What exactly it was, I cannot fathom. But after that incident, I've never been off the mark again. I've got this really bad feeling that until we get struck by lightning, we can't beat him. <sighs> oh. Let's try once more, but I'll bet you I want anything. to try once more. So be it. Heads or tails. Heads. Tails. Well... Maybe you'll have better luck next time. Have you had enough? Yeah, I, I think this is the beginning of a new puzzle. Uh... Well, I'll be gone then. Cheerio! You know, I was thinking about Frock. I wonder if old Frock's down in the laundry room. But I think we jumped the plot somehow by doing that to him. And it's all your fault. Hey, Alu. 
Hello, Edna. What brings you here this time? Now, Alu was there when King knows all the stuff about King Adrian. And this may be a waste I of time. I have one more question about King Adrian. Fire away. Ah, that's new. Can you help me beat him? Who do you think I am, Mr. Miyagi? <laughs> oh, please. The sugar and cream and a cherry on top? <gasps> well, all right then. I have a radical idea how to level the playing field. Yeah, I But you won't like it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Electroshock therapy. What? We'll give you electroshocks so that you can predict things as well. I'm not sure. <laughs> we can meet at the electroshock therapy chair and off we'll go. I'd need a better coat hanger though. The inspector won't let me ride the laundry lift with this one anymore. What do you think? I'm really not sure if I'd like that. Take your time and think about it. When you're ready, just bring me a better coat hanger. Frock's coat hanger. Uh, well, I... But we have to bring the coat hanger, so... So... I've made I think a decision. He's just gonna tell I us want what the we shock do. treatment. Brave child. Get me a better yeah, coat hanger right, and so. off we'll go. It's cool beans. Okay, uh. Let's talk about something else. Actually, I think I'm golden. Uh. I have to get a move on. Yeah. Take care of your karma. I. Shoot. Now we have to. Shoot. Son of a gun. I was going to kind of take a break. I need to rescue my dinner from the fire. Um, so we need the second stop. But I'll bet there's uh, washing machines down there. Because I was joking about the next bringing, exit him, is approaching. bringing him some soap. Now, I don't know how to stay on this without getting off Here of it, we go. So. so needs must as the devil drives. But I'll bet you a quarter old Frocky's down here. I don't know where the hell else he'd go. The next exit is approaching. And I don't know if you have to click down here or she automatically stops. I'd hate to think about going all the way around. <laughs> Mr. Frock. <laughs> Wait, is that his coat hanger, or has that always been there? Yeah, well, let's do it first. So, what do we got here? So, uh... A wooden leg holder! But where's the wooden leg? Okay, Harvey. Mr. Frog! He doesn't hear me. Yo, Edna, your little friend is mighty dirty, ain't he? Ah, uh, we've been you down think? that road before. Give him to me so that I can clean him up. I'll make him water than snow. <coughs> Don't, Edna, it's a trap! <laughs> you notice when the washing machine was talking, Harvey's lips weren't moving. Now, either that's a glitch or... <laughs> <laughs> There's more in here that talks than Harvey. Yo, Edna, See? your little friend is mighty dirty. Only Harvey's you lips think? move. Give them to me so that I can clean them up. I'll make him water than. <laughs> Don't, Edna, it's a trap. All right, uh, I do need to take a break and rescue my dinner. So I, I'm thinking we're headed towards uh, Alumin and uh, shock treatment. I don't know what else. Um, so anyway, so I'll be back with this, and, and we'll do more neat things. Uh, I don't know what else to say. That's that's, that's the party. <laughs> Turn around and face the camera, and this. Good thing this was down here. Come on, girl. I don't, would have broken all my bones otherwise. Don't make me clock out on your fanny. 
There, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on the ride. I'll see you down the road. All of you take care, as always. All right, later on. Thank you.